Your Excellency, Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for coming to our university. Your speech was really outstanding. Thank you. Everybody was enjoying it, including me. I have several questions to you, if you don't mind. Uh, British education system is considered to be one of the best in the world. And uh, in our country, a lot of universities are keen on British partners. So we started with Westminster University, now British Management School coming here. Team University signed the memorandum with cooperation with London South Bank Universities, University, other universities uh, doing partnerships through the Creative Spark. So what do you think about future uh, cooperation in education sphere between Uzbekistan and uh, UK? Well, first of all, thank you very much for the for the the invitation in the first place. It's a it's a pleasure to pay my first visit to Team University, but uh, um, and to speak to such a uh, interested, sparky audience. Um, and I'm very lucky because th th there is an increasing number of people, uh, young people, students who speak English, which allow me to make the sort of speech that I could do today. And that, in turn, is going to lead to all sorts of um, interesting cooperations. Um, the formal links between uh, universities that you've yourself referred to, um, and we see that more and more and more, in the, even in the short space of time that I've been here. Um, we had our uh, annual uh, Uzbekistan British Trade and Industry Council meetings uh, at last month and we signed four new agreements, memorandums of understanding between uh, British universities and Uzbek universities. And uh, I'm constantly seeing new universities, new interest um, at that sort of level. But I think also more and more the technological changes that we've seen and had to embrace during COVID-19 have also meant that um, you're eroding the barriers and the sorts of the, the, the kind of formal relationships between universities that we've traditionally done won't need to be the only form of re the relationship so that um, student exchanges of information, research, joint research, um, uh, team teaching, just different sorts of relationships between British institutions and British students and, uh, and academics. Uh, is going to be very much the way forward. And we're very excited to be working on that. Um, you mentioned the British Council's Creative Spark initiative, which I love. Um, not least I'm part of it's it as well. <laughs> not least because it's working in creative industries, which is such an exciting area in Uzbekistan. Here at this university, we are planning to open a course on creative industry management. So starting next year, next academic year. Well, congratulations from that, for that, because it's such, that you have wonderful crafts um, in this country, extraordinarily, extraordinary design talent, um, and being able to build on that and commercialize it, but also to start looking at new things you can do with your craft, with traditional crafts, um, I think is, is, is really exciting. Um, and allow alongside that the emergence of new creative industries, the, the, not least the use of technology in all of this, is in, in design, in um, movie making, in music making, and so on and so forth, is going to be, is, is going to be really exciting. So catching the, the commercial side of that and the planning and organizational side of that is really, really important. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, Tim University is the first private entrepreneurial university. And the one of our mission is to create a new generation of entrepreneurs who know what is SDG mean. And uh, for example, in our foundation course, we are studying global issues, you know, and the students are coming up with the ideas and projects and uh, which would help to solve those problems. And it's one of our graduate attributes as well. What do you think about uh, future entrepreneurs and business? How to marry, you know, I mean, global change problem, how to marry poverty problem with new generation of entrepreneurs? It's really important. I think uh, uh, when you trans when this country, when any country transforms its educational system, it has to do it in a way that creates the sort of people that are going to allow the country to develop and grow economically and socially and politically. 
Um, so uh, creating a generation of business-minded, um, English-speaking, uh, young entrepreneurs who understand um, the nitty-gritty, the, 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 the essence of doing business, um, but bring with it the energy and enthusiasm and creativity and new awareness of, of, of new ideas and a new world that your students will do. Uh, that, that's wonderful. I think it's a challenge to the state as well, because you have to create the kind of environment where it's easy for young people to create a business, business themselves who don't have to rely on having rich parents who can give them the startup funds. You have to create a way of uh, allowing access to finance um, for young entrepreneurs, um, creating an environment once they've actually started to, to, to build the business, to do so in a way where they have mentors, where they can link into business people. And again, this doesn't have to all be in Uzbekistan. You can do that globally. Yeah, we are doing it globally as uh, well. So, so all of that's really important to provide the support um, and backup that once the business has started, that, that, that will take them forward and, and allow them to succeed. So sounds great. Okay, thank you very much. And my last question regarding today's event. What do you think about this kind of events when we are gathering, you know, people of your level <laughs> and, uh, you know, you are talking to a young, uh, you know, school children, students, you know, lyceum students. What do you think about this kind of uh, extracurricular activities? It's lovely for me. I don't know whether the students actually learned anything or indeed listened. They were very polite. I think they listened. Um, they were. But I think um, I enjoyed doing it. Um, it's always a bit frustrating because there's a you have a speech and then a question and answer session where they ask me all sorts of questions and actually what I'd love to be doing is sitting down for an hour afterwards and asking them questions as well mm -hmm. because we the, think the students it. that uh, I don't Listen. talk to very much um, I talk at them a lot but I actually wanted to be listening to them and listening to the viewpoints of the generation of young Uzbeks who have grown up since independence, who have never known a country other than their own, this, this is their country, um, and who will have di very different views of the society and the political structures and the systems and everything else. And I'm, I don't talk to them enough, so I would love to come back and have so we will a conversation with them talking at me. We will note it and change the format <laughs> next time. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. It's a and great it was pleasure. great, great pleasure to receive you here. It was a, it was a, a, a joy to be here on a, at a weekend as well. So weekend for us, it is a weekend. Yes, you're, you're, none of us should have been working. We were all working hard. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.